Number theory is a fascinating branch of mathematics. It deals with the properties of numbers, especially whole numbers. These numbers are the building blocks of mathematics. Prime numbers, divisible only by one and themselves, are particularly intriguing. They are like the atoms of the mathematical world, and their mysteries have captivated mathematicians for centuries. Some of the most enduring unsolved problems in mathematics come from number theory. These problems are easy to state but incredibly difficult to solve. They offer a glimpse into the profound depths of mathematics and the elegance of simple-sounding questions that have stumped the greatest minds for generations. Goldbach's conjecture is one of the oldest and most famous unsolved problems in mathematics. In 1730, Prussian mathematician Christian Goldbach proposed this conjecture in a letter to Leonhard Euler. It states that every even number greater than 2 can be written as the sum of two prime numbers. For example, the number 10 can be expressed as 3 plus 7 or 5 plus 5. Despite its simple statement, Goldbach's conjecture has resisted all attempts at proof for over two and a half centuries. Mathematicians have tested it extensively with computers, verifying it for vast numbers. However, a general proof that holds true for all even numbers remains elusive. The conjecture's importance lies in its potential to reveal deep connections between prime numbers and the additive structure of numbers. Twin primes are pairs of prime numbers that differ by 2, such as 3 and 5, or 11 and 13. The twin prime conjecture posits that there are infinitely many such pairs. This conjecture is another tantalizing problem in number theory that has fascinated mathematicians for centuries. The distribution of prime numbers seems random, yet twin primes appear surprisingly often. While Goldbach's conjecture deals with sums of primes, the twin prime conjecture focuses on their differences. Progress has been made in recent years towards proving this conjecture. Mathematicians have narrowed the gap between consecutive primes, showing that infinitely many prime pairs exist with specific smaller differences. However, the ultimate goal of proving the infinitude of twin primes remains an active area of research. The Collatz conjecture, unlike the previous two, does not directly involve prime numbers, but centers around a simple iterative process. Proposed by German mathematician Lothar Collatz in 1937, this conjecture starts with any positive integer. If the number is even, you divide it by 2. If it's odd, you multiply by 3 and add 1. The conjecture states that no matter what number you start with, you will always eventually reach the number 1. Despite its seemingly elementary nature, the Collatz conjecture has stumped mathematicians for decades. The challenge lies in the unpredictable nature of the iterative process, which can result in wildly fluctuating sequences of numbers before eventually hopefully converging to one. The conjecture's allure lies in its simplicity and the surprising difficulty in proving or disproving it.